Hey, Thomas Mangum here. You know, in this video, I want to talk about a, a question, a comment, a statement that I got from uh, a guy I was mentoring. He's a real estate investor and he wanted me to help him get ready for the stage. He's going to be doing a lot more public speaking out there. And um, one of the comments that he made to me, it says, he says, listen, man, I don't want to screw up. And that's one of his biggest fears. He doesn't want to screw up in front of an audience. But he wants to connect better and get more relaxed being up in front of an audience. And I told him, dude, you're supposed to screw up. You're supposed to make mistakes. That's the way it happens. It, it, you know, I, I don't know why. It's kind of crazy to me. It, it, I don't know why we think that we're not going to make mistakes or we're afraid to make mistakes and afraid to stub our toe and get hurt or say the wrong thing or piss someone off. And the fact of the matter is, that's how you learn. And yeah, I got some passion around this because I didn't become a much better trainer and a much better public speaker until I made a lot of mistakes. I did not become a better real estate investor. I mean, I started real estate investing back in 2002. I didn't get really good at that until I was willing to make a lot of mistakes. See, most people get a have a bump in the road or 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 make a mistake and it's that's it. All bets are off. This isn't for me. Real estate investing isn't for me. Internet marketing isn't for me. Network marketing isn't for me. Being a great public speaker is not for me. That's it. I'm not into this. Come on. Mistakes are part of the ball game. You got to like embrace the mistakes. Look forward to the screw ups. No one learns without making mistakes, whatever it is. You know, it's so funny. I shared this with him and of course he felt a little bit better, but then was kind of scratching his head. Come on, man. But I don't want to feel humiliated and all that kind of stuff. I said, "You, that's you choosing to be humiliated. Dude, you, I mean, no one is making, no one is making you feel humiliated. You're choosing to be humiliated. And listen, you know, I'm sharing this with you. Uh, based upon my experience as a real estate investor, as an online marketer, as a public speaker. And I'm still learning this with every single new thing that I learn. I'm no different than anyone else. You know, I'm, I don't want to be humiliated when I, when I get up and do something, when I'm learning something new. I don't want to make a mistake. But I realized that the biggest gains and the most amazing things that I've been able to learn and accomplish, and people look at me now and go, oh my gosh, how can you have such a calm confidence on stage? I've made a lot of mistakes, man. <laughs> you eventually, you're just going to learn. So, so listen, free yourself up, please. Free yourself up and allow yourself to make mistakes. Sure, get a good mentor and learn the process and all that kind of stuff. But never be afraid of the mistakes. Your failures, your failures are what you do. It's not who you are. In fact, I, I just heard this again today from, uh, from Larry Hockman, amazing, amazing teacher. Your failures are what you do. It's not who you are. All right, this is Thomas Mangum. If this resonates with you, like it, disagree, got a comment on it, please comment on the video. Uh, get on my list if uh, this resonates, and we'll chat a little bit more on the next video. All right, bye.